What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you a new location that you can use to do the unlimited fish method as well as hunt other animals and collect herbs. Before we get into the video make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you turn on notifications to be notified when my next upload is live. For this method we will be heading to Saint Denis and as always to get away from griefers spawn in tumbleweed and then fast travel all the way to this location. It will cost $11 but you will be making that money back in no time and you don't really have to do much to do this. Once you're in Saint Denis head to this location right beside the train tracks here there will be a pond and all you have to do is chuck your fishing rod in. Now so far the best results that I've had with getting fish to spawn in has been by using a swamp lure or a lake lure. The river lure doesn't really do too much and the spinner I haven't really noticed a massive difference but the fish will not spawn in the pond that your fishing rod is in. Instead they will spawn in the pond right beside it and there will be a ton of different fish. Normally in this location as well you'll have an alligator right to the left of you as well as once you kill that you'll get a bunch of different birds coming in and you can kill those off getting a couple dollars here and there for their meat as well as their feathers. The thing that will probably make you the most money though is the small mouth bass which you can get by doing this method. There are also the bluegill, the pickerel, all of that sort of stuff in this pond. You can also get a lake sturgeon. The lake sturgeon is very rare to spawn in but if you do come across a lake sturgeon all you have to do is push it to the side. To get all these other fish as well, instead of just shooting them or using your fishing rod, run from left to right in this swamp area and they will all just disperse and go onto dry land and kill themselves. At that point, all you have to do is go round and pick them all up. So far on Red Dead Redemption Online, I have not seen a method like this. I know this method's been used a lot, but this location has been very good. I've never seen that many fish spawn in in such a tight space. Just by running for it once on my first ever go, I got about 15 fish. It was insane. There were smallmouth bass, there was bluegills. I don't think I got a lake sturgeon in my first attempt. I think it was like my third or fourth attempt of doing this. I managed to get a lake sturgeon. But just by going through that once, clearing out that pond and then going to the butchers, I I made somewhere between 60 to 70 dollars just with that and that took me about 15 minutes to do. If you are someone that doesn't want to keep going back to the butchers every 15 minutes and you want to just stay there and grind this method out but what we will find is that the fish will just completely disappear once you kill them all and sometimes it's a bit harder for them to spawn in. What you need to do is go and collect a few herbs, climb over the other side of the train tracks, there will be a few different birds there that you can hunt and their feathers go for about $1.50 each so they're very good to get. As soon as you've done that killed a few animals, killed a few alligators, head back to the spot, go and chuck your fishing rod in the first pond that I showed you and then the fish should spawn in again and at that point you can go and do this method all over again running back and forth in that swamp and you will get a ton of fish. Remember that you can only collect 10 of each fish in your satchel after that. I don't know whether or not you still pick them up, they just don't add to your satchel, or whether or not it just says you can't pick them up. Sometimes I feel like I've picked more than 10 up and I'm still able to pick them up and then I go to the butchers and I've only collected 10. So I don't know if there's a bug with that or whether or not it's always done that. But as soon as that's happened, keep checking it, keep count of everything, collect a few herbs, collect a few other animals, make sure you get their feathers. You'll get a bunch of different birds in this area and they will make you a lot of money. Within an hour of doing this, you can easily make anywhere between two to three hundred dollars, and that is a very good return. But anyway guys, that is another location that you can do this fishing method on Red Dead Redemption Online. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.